Good morning, my classy, classy people. Hope everybody had a great weekend as we move towards Saratoga. As always, please turn your closed captions on and remember our tip sheets will be available for the opening day at Saratoga on Thursday uh, the 14th for sure. Please email me at speedking24 at yahoo.com. I got quite a few orders in now. Uh, just make sure that you email me at speedking24 at yahoo.com. But before we get ahead of ourselves, let's take a look at the stake races on Monday over there at beautiful uh, Colonial Down in New Kent, Virginia. Shout out to all my folks over there in Reston, Virginia and Manassas for sure. And in Merlin as well, Upper Marlboro and Laurel for sure. Well, the eighth race uh, on Monday is the Edwards P. Ed, uh, Evans Stakes. One mile, 125000 That's a pretty good purse. On the turf, of course, for three-year-olds and up, these are registered VA breads. In other words, Virginia breads. Let's run through these here. Uh, fine, fine um, colts for sure. The number one horse, Passion Play. Well, Passion Play is a six-year-old with four wins from 21 starts. That's good. It's Mary uh, uh, Epler uh, is our trainer of record. And again, here is a horse that uh, has been on a long extended layoff for 312 days. Now, this horse has a tendency to run really, really well off of long, long extended rest. The horse is only three to one, the number one passion play, and is appeared to be the speed in this field. So, you know, I think you're going to have to use this horse. This horse runs very well on long layoffs. So, Passion Play will probably be our second pick in here in the Evan Stakes. Pumping. Well, Pumping, listen to this here. 20 to 1 on the morning line. Two wins from 14 starts. The horse is by Munnings. Uh, Cooney is our trainer of record. And Gomez is in the arms. This horse uh, is really not a turf horse or at least in the last year or so, having run on the turf. And even when he did, he's been running against ten and fifteen and sixteen thousand dollar claimer. The number two pumping is overmatched and should be thrown off the ticket. Well, here's your likely winner and favorite in the race, Largent. Everybody knows Largent. This six year old has six wins from thirteen starts. That's almost fifty percent at four seconds. Well, this uh, Virginia bred is by into mischief on the back end by unbridled, and it's a Todd Pletcher horse. Everybody knows that. Paco Lopez has taken the trip down to Colonial to ride this here uh, fine, fine gelding uh, for Mr. Pletcher. And, and to be honest with you, you should just beat these horses up and smack them around. Well, you're not going to make any money on Largent in this spot. Largent is even money, and rightly so. This horse is a turf specialist, uh, particularly at a mile to seven furlongs, and even a little further at that. But he has these dead to right. Largent, the number three horse, the Pletcher runner with Paco in the arms, should really, really beat these horses. And you know that when you see even money on the line, which you don't usually see more than lines where a horse is even money. These horses are... Uh, are subpar compared to Largent. The number three horse should win this race for fun. The number four horse, Point of Grace. Well, just like the number two, Ponding, the number four uh, is overmatched speed figure wise. Now, the horse isn't horrible, horrible, but it's still 10 or 12 little slower than Largent going in. Two wins for 15 starts. The horse is by point of entry. And again, just appears to be overmatched at 20 to 1, the number four, Point of Grace. We're going to throw the Grace horse off the ticket. Well, Kendama. Kendama. Uh, is, is, I guess, a fairly decent horse. Eight to one on the line, three wins from eight starts. That's fairly good for this Uncle Mo runner. Uh, Myers is doing all the training. And I tell you right now, uh, the horse's turf form as a four-year-old last year at Tampa is fairly well. This is a horse I think you have to use underneath Largen uh, if you're trying to complete an exacto or a try. So this horse will probably be my third of... Uh, Fourth pick in here for sure, the number five. The number six horse, uh, Good Luck Chuck. Good Luck Chuck has uh, nine wins from 28 starts. That's awfully good with five seconds. This Virginian bred is six years old by Big Pitcher. And I tell you now, the horse isn't much of a turf horse, but I tell you right now, this horse has some very, very nice um, uh, 
dirt figures going into this race. Not nearly close enough for Largin. But the number six, good luck, Chuck. I think I'm going to make this horse my second pick. He is 10 to 1. It may complete a nice exact and try underneath Largin, who I think is a lead pipe cinch in this race. So the number six, uh, good luck, Chuck, will be my second pick in here. Uh, for sure, I like that horse along with the number one, Passion Play. The number seven horse, well, here's a horse I think is over overmatched. For Love of Country, love the name. Uh, five wins from 27 starts. This horse is a former clamoring horse. Uh, speed figures aren't horrible. I mean, if you use this horse underneath, I'm not mad at you for, uh, for Love of Country. I don't particularly like the horse in this spot. And the number eight horse, Alex June. Alex June is a very, very nice uh, five-year-old who has won three races from 18 starts. That's okay. Uh, the fact of the matter is this horse has been scratched several times by the vet and is a former claimer down there at twenty and $30,000. Doesn't appear to have any turf experience in the last uh, several runs, but do have some way, way back there. Again, he is 12-1, to 1, Alex June, the number 8 horse here. Uh, if you want to use him underneath, you can. I mean, you could just about use anybody underneath here in this race because I don't think any of them could beat the number 3 horse Largin. So, in race number 8, it is the uh, Edwards P. Evans Stakes. It is for Virginia Breads going one flat mile on the turf. And it appears our top pick has to be the number 3 horse, the top Fletcher runner, Largin. Largin just appears to be just so much superior than the rest of these horses. We're going to put him on top. And our second, third, and fourth pick is going to be the number 6 horse. Is going to be number 2 pick, Good Luck Chuck. A dirt horse, but got fairly, fairly nice numbers. And, uh, and we just think that this horse should run well for sure. So our second pick will be the number six. And our third pick is the horse that runs extremely well on a long, long layoff. Passion play. Only three to one on the money line, but will be our third pick. And our fourth pick to round out our super is Kendama. Kendama is eight to one on the morning line. Came back uh, as a five-year-old. Uh, Try to get him on the turf, but the race scratched off. Did get the race under his belt off of a very, 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 very long layoff. Now this is the second race off that extended layoff. May be able to run underneath the number five. So, in the eighth race, our stake race over here, the Mr. Evans Stakes. We think Largin is a lead pipe cinch, and everybody else on the planet will think the same thing. This horse will probably be one to five or two to five, and rightly so. The number three should win this race. Our second pick is going to be the number six, Good Luck Chuck. Our third pick is going to be the number one uh, passion play and we're going to use Kendama as our five. So it's three every time all the time over six, one, five in that order on Monday, eighth race at beautiful Colonial down in Rested, uh, down in Kent, down there in Kent, uh, New Kent, uh, Virginia for sure. As always folks, let me know what you think. Get your orders in for Saratoga. It's coming up. Big meat for sure. Enjoy.